Uh, all right, zero percent speed run PB attempt. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, we just we just lost a run to Anjanath being on the Kulu quest, and then he roared not once, not twice, but six times. Yo, Luminous, thank you so much for that Prime sub. You can use that anywhere you chose to use that here. I really do appreciate that. So thank you, and welcome on to the bagel shop, my friend. Hope you enjoy those cats. Yeah, you just roared like six times in a row and uh, tried to fight me and the Kulu, and then I lost 26 seconds on the fourth, fifth split of the game. And I had really good Kested on RNG. Now we're gonna get really bad Kested on RNG. It's okay. I, as long as I'm not like plus 15 going into Kulu, I'll be happy. I have a slot for both candy and earplugs, and I ain't uh, dropping a changer for candy. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. For sure. I mean, yeah, like, uh, handicraft or earplugs after the fact are like, you know, uh, like comfort at that point for, for Switch X. I actually wanted to play around with my Gunlance set and uh, put earplugs into Gunlance because there's like so much uh, startup for that weapon, like so much setup for that weapon that earplugs might actually be worth. Is anyone like playing this game like casually a lot recently? My favorite Elder Dragon, Chaos to Rock. I'm Lance Man here for this one. Now let's go. Grind away at this game, yeah. That's how I've been feeling about like Bow World. Because I don't have like much to do casually in this game, but the Seregius mod like really helped out with that. Speaking of which, Seregius mod is out. If you guys didn't go do that yet, Exclamation Seregius. Resurgence team put out that mod and it's a banger. 80 plus hours uh, and taking my time and I'm finally at Iceborne. Let's go. That's the way to do it, man. Just take your time. Experience it. Live it. Love it. Because you only get to play this game for the first time once. Those of them just look so cool. Yeah. That's why I wish I was a cosplayer so I could, like, make some of them. Just get early onset Alzheimer's. M knowing my luck, I'd forget like my friends and families and loved ones, but still remember Monster Hunter World. <laughs> this is your grandson, Jerry. Jeratotus? <laughs> That was a weird angle. I don't know what happened there. I was struggling uh, through some of the older Monster games. It's funny uh, how easy it looks in speedruns. Well, to be fair, I've done this thousands of times at this point. And also, the older Monster Hunter games are, like, really difficult to speedrun, in my opinion. There's so much stuff I forgot after two and a half year break, yeah. Remember 2018 when World was new? Me and my uh, friends were so hyped, and now I'm the only one playing anymore. Rise, but still, yeah, no, fair enough. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, 2025 is the year of Monster Hunter Wilds, and everyone will be, be back. Because they're marketing it as Monster Hunter World 2, so, you know. Everyone's going to lose their minds, yet again. Are they? More or less. Their whole marketing scheme for Wilds is Return to World. So, if they're... Uh, if they're trying to get people to prepare themselves for wilds by going back and playing Monster Hunter World, 
it, it seems like there is a, a strong correlation that it will be a very much roguelike. Especially considering the hunter that they showed in the teaser um, has world technology on them. Like, new world technology. So, like, the slinger and the scout flies. <clears throat> Seems very, very reminiscent. Okay. You know, my friends from the Digimon used to play Rise with me, and I'm happy to be back on with friends. Nice. Friends let friends play Monster Hunter. Remember, Tenderize is not a mechanic of Slinger. They showed a picture. They showed the Slinger on the Hunter's arm, not a Clutch Claw. Slinger and Clutch Claw are two very different things. They're trying to get uh, another friend into Rise. They'd be so down uh, to make a new account to uh, just to play. Yeah. Friends buy Monster Hunter for as many of their friends as possible until they learn enough people for a full team. True. <laughs> yeah, I'd be shocked if we saw the Tenderize mechanic come back. If we see it come back, I don't mind it being like reworked into something else. I'm home. Welcome home, Carol. But, um, yeah, I mean, don't make it a DPS thing. Don't make it like change hit zone values. The way that I've always said to like fix Tenderizing is that make it incentive based. Like, make it something that you don't have to do, but you're incentivized to do. So, like, tenderize, and um, after you deal so much damage to that part, it drops another material. And, like, at that point, you're incentivized to do it, but you're not required to, right? I thought Clutch uh, Stagger had something to do with Clutch Claw, uh, but it, it's not. Well, it doesn't It doesn't happen because of Clutch Claw. Um, claw Staggers are just part of a monster's, like, uh, AI now. It's like after you deal enough damage, you get a Claw Stagger. Um, and if you use the Clutch Claw to grab onto the monster, to, like, ride the monster, um, it extends the duration of the Claw Stagger. So like that's the only reason why it, like they interact together, but it's not like the claw stack, the clutch claw makes the claw stagger happen. It's if you interact, it interact with the clutch claw during the clutch stagger, you extend the duration of it. Because like, uh, you can fit in a clutch claw attack during a claw stagger. Before Clutch Claw uh, extend, uh, existed, uh, Claw Staggers were just small flinches, right? No, Zalodi. How's the Big Blue Baby treating you? Well, we haven't gotten to the Big Blue Baby yet today. I mean, we did practice, and that was all right. We got to get past Anjanath first. So far, we've seen Anjanath on uh, Kuliaku. Let's see if, where else we see him today. <laughs> yeah, they're just they're just like flinches, Viren. <laughs> just like staggered for a moment. <laughs> Much less invasive for mobile short range weapons. I mean, I don't know if that's true. Because, like, even with, um, even with, like, Gun Lance, if I get a clagger, I can still, like, clutch on from, like, a million miles away. No, no, no. Trips still exist, but those are linked to specific body parts where claggers are just linked to the entire monster. Trips still exist, though. Baby. You know, it's a really cute. Thank you. Yeah, our artist did a lot of really good work on them, and I would like to get more. 
Uh, a clagger is a TCS opening, first of all. I mean, yeah, Dante, like, it's just part of the game. So you just, like, adjust to it. That's a great sword problem, not a clagger problem, exactly. Because, like, that happens with, like, everything. Like, first hit of, like, longsword claggering, even though it has, like, incredibly small part break value, and, like, first hit of PR finisher um, claggering, even though, like, it has an incredibly low uh, part break threshold. Yeah, it happens with topples all the time, too. Like, it can happen with anything. And, like, in casual play, it has, like, zero impact in the game, right? You still finish the hunt. In speedrunning, it can, like, have huge implications, but... I don't really see that as a problem. Got it. I think. <laughs> Uh, no green bone, no small bones, but I did get a Mandagora. Hey, monster. I mean, really, with IG, you just DT anyways. Well, cause it's um, it's not it's not RNG, B Ren. It's actually predictable, right? Like we can predict it. Uh, we can math out damage and predict like how things happen. Um, and like that's all that speedrunning is is like how do we make things that seem like RNG predictable and manipulate them uh, to our advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Red, white, buff, DT, repeat. <laughs> hey, sometimes you can do grounded combos and they're better off. Sometimes. I don't know, I like DT. I, I mean, uh, IG. Can't predict the uh, Nurgi for Pega Slams four times in a row. So, like, you're assuming that our script lets the monster move. Like, that's the thing about, like, scripting in speedruns is that it is predictable because we don't let the monster move. Because we are doing damage in a specific way to make sure that the monster doesn't get a turn to play. Like, you are, you are looking at this entirely from, like, a casual perspective, which is perfectly fine. But, like, the moment that we start, like, looking at speedruns, we stop the monster from playing the game because we're taking advantage of the mechanics baked into the game. Which seem seemingly okay. random when you play the game ad-lib because you're yes, randomly you doing things and running. reacting to the monster. Versus speedrunning, which we are doing very specific ah, things so we no longer have to react. <laughs> Dude. Those are the scripted fall apart and master rate because of gear limitations? Correct. Uh, and so now we're talking about a different... Now we're talking about something completely different. Right? Like... And, and that's what I'm saying. Like, that's all ad libs, so that's all very much RNG, so that, like, I have to now react to the game. That's what I'm talking about. But, like, when I, I guess in this, in this situation, I'm not really talking about RTA speedrunning. I'm talking about, like, IL speedrunning. But, like, we do it in, in, in this portion of the game, too.
But like the the things that you're saying that are seemingly RNG are the monsters' movements, not the monster like mechanics, not the not the mechanics that are hidden behind the game that we're talking about, like claggers, staggers, topples, and trips. Um, like those are all programmed mechanics that are entirely ex exploitable. Um, versus like. Uh, the monsters like attacks, which actually are manipulatable, but not 100%. Uh, this is the fox hat. There are ears on it, but it's hard to see them because my headphones destroy them. Oh, I did get it. Nice. Caught your eyes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kira actually got me this hat and then made me put it on today. <laughs> got me this hat years ago. Uh, you want? And you want. <clears throat> Still no green bone. Save me, Pookie. Save me, Pookie Pookie. Uh, wasn't there some point you needed uh, reminding for Thunderbugs? Uh, it's it's later. After uh, Jurtotus and Baroth, it, uh, when I get their quest rewards, there may or may not be a time that I need to get Thunderbugs. I'm just gonna adjust to the RNG. But like, uh, don't don't worry about like reminding me about things. Like I don't I don't need to be reminded. Um, it's just like a point of possible confusion. <laughs> don't worry, I got it. No Anjanath here again. Yay. I keep doing that where I align myself with that, like, rock. I need to stop doing that because this is technically... I mean, Green, did you ever figure out this was faster? I guess it is, isn't it? Oh my gosh, unless I do that. All the time save lost. I have no clue how to time it. There's no consistent landmarks. I mean, you can just like... Yeah, I guess if that happens, like you just can't time it at all, huh? It lines you up better if you do have the weird camera. <laughs> Gotcha. Well, I like it. Because it's new and different. What if no Anjanath this time?
Akira. Asking she. Hakunari. That sounds like a lot of effort, monster. That sounds like a lot of effort uh, to figure out a one second time save, if that. <laughs> Yeah, Green, you should do it like that. I'm sure you can figure it out pretty quickly. Smile. <laughs> it sounds really easy, honestly. Nice. Cut the patents going through these four walls and fighting Xeno along the way. Yeah, exactly. Alright, still no green bone. I'm scared. That means I have to take um, Toby stuff. Yeah, when are we finding the wrong warp for Xeno? Like, that's what I want to know. <laughs> a weird email. I ignored it. Are you fighting for pizza the first time? I was struggling so much. <laughs> you just demolish him, poor baby. Ah, that's okay. Uh, a task inevitably finding a way to abuse movement is entirely up to the ability of the tasser. Tasses aren't like just a robot that you, you put onto a game and then it figures out how to play the game as fast as possible. Tool assisted speedruns are um, like programmed robots right you tell the robot what to do so um the task is limited to the knowledge of the game since we don't know of any way to exploit movement like the task wouldn't be able to do that either Robot, right, right. Uh, 
Yeah, like you you program in like the keystrokes, the button inputs, the the controller inputs into the game, and then it's performed like that from the moment of this uh, of like you starting, right? So like if there isn't anything known, then you know it wouldn't it wouldn't do it because we don't know to do it. Find the boomerang glitch, yeah. <laughs> Where Monster in a World turns into first gen Pokemon. Would you run that or would you eventually return to glitches? I would never run that. <laughs> that does not sound like a fun speedrun to me. Like, if I ever learned, uh, like, Pokemon Red, I wouldn't learn you know, storage manipulation. I wouldn't learn any percent. I would learn glitchless, because, like, it doesn't... I want to play the game, not, like, beat the game. Blindfolded Xeno percent win? Like, as it stands right now, we have no way of, like, standardizing our, our movement for it. <laughs> it would be... It would be very difficult to do because of how much RNG is associated with, like, monsters in general. Whoops. Uh, crafting... Powder and two knives. The closest thing to a glitch speedrun that we would have right now is in Master Rank um, using uh, Wormstake Cannon. Uh, Wormstake Blast exploit. We've thought about that, Arctic. Where, like, one person turns off their screen and, like, the other person has to guide them through it. We've absolutely thought about that. I liked it when, um, so, like, uh, Fire Dragon did something like that, uh, where he called it chat assisted, um, any percent for Luigi's Mansion 3. Or, uh, Luigi's Mansion, excuse me. Uh, and. Uh, it was really funny because, like, chat, like, told him where to go, what to move, and stuff, and stuff like that. <laughs> the monster went there! <laughs> uh, what about a damageless, damageless run? Nah, I have, I have, like, no, um, desire to do anything like that, to be honest. Especially with, like, how many just, you know, sources of dot damage there are in this game. It, I, it wouldn't, I wouldn't find it enjoyable. Uh, yeah, Wormstake exploit. Uh, so Wormstake cannon does additional damage the more models that it overlaps with. Um, recently, they found that you can do that with Meowcano too, uh, and it do and Meowcano doesn't proc uh, explosives like barrel bombs, but it still gets extra ticks of damage for every model that it passes through. Um, and then that still triggers, um, Worm Steak, which is kind of wild. Yeah, it, it's, it's not necessarily birds. It's not necessarily a snowman glitch, right? The thing that isn't enabling that isn't the snowman. The snowman's adding, like, an additional hit. It's, it's better to be called, uh, like, Worm Steak Exploit. It looks infinitely easier to set up than Worm Steak. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it actually does. The the cat the meowcano yeah. Just the the hardest thing is going like because I know um isn't uh oh my gosh uh, Dengaku trying to figure out how to use it for Shar percent. Because the limiting factor is going to be leveling up the cat to unlock the uh, the meowcano. Because as it stands right now, I don't even unlock the second, uh, the second level of the gadget. Like, the second, uh, ability of the gadget. I only unlock the first. Uh, excuse me. I don't unlock the third one. I only unlock the second. Um, and that's with using Vigor Wasp, which you're on the entire run. So, it'll be interesting. It's like level six. Yeah, exactly. And you have it the entire run. Now, there are ways to uh, exploit um, the, 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 the experience gain. Because um, you gain experience every time you interact with the cat, too. And that includes healing it. 
So you could use life powders, uh, heal the cat, and then turn in your um, research progress during an expedition, and the level goes up. And you just keep doing that over and over again, and you get, like, incremental increases to your... Uh, to your level but it's very very slow but i actually used that to level up uh something casually because i just i wanted it unlocked yeah you can heal the cat with um you can like heal and buff the cat with uh the like far reaching items right like the sprays Uh, Green did a one-shot mod run, and it still took a shockingly long time. Like an hour 52, yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Did I accidentally eat a seed? Oh, I forgot to put these on. <laughs> I finally got that. I didn't get it perfect, but I got it pretty good. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's, that's probably about, like, the best that it can go. Alright, well, I didn't get any extra Thunderbugs, so I lose five seconds. Smile. <laughs> Free! I have to gather all of the Thunderbugs, Sag. Technically, Diablos can give them two, but... That's just too late at that point. You only need three trap tools at that point, so, like, it's not worth it. It's good backup, so, if you need them. Yeah, everyone's just kind of like vibing there. Uh, it's nine seconds total. Five on Coral, two on Lumu, two on Wrath. Yeah. That's pretty funny. His serious conversation for serious people. Man, and not having backups, that hurts. Nah, that's not great. I don't have any extra Thunderbugs either. That's so unfortunate. Man, if I would have gotten extra Thunderbugs, that would have been fine, but, like, I got literally zero. Yeah, I messed up. I, I didn't hit... I walked, like, a little too far forward when I went to go do my draw attack, so I missed all the tail hits. So I knew I was going to get that, but I was like, you know what, we can try this. I'm going to get a full finisher here and see if that makes up the damage, and it absolutely didn't. And so, like, that one's 100% on me because I messed up, and I recognized I messed up, and I still went for it. Um, but whatever. I just have no extra um, traps from here on out. Like, I, I have zero extra. Oh, 
Unfortunate use of a flash there, but... Cool, I got it back. I usually don't get that one, but I didn't get the one in the last quest, so I'm still down one flash. We'll hope for good flash RNG on Lumu and Legiana. Like, no bone materials on that. Yeah, he's, uh, that's Andrew Nathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's him, Mr. Nathan. Uh, so I won't have, I need to craft my, uh, like my thunder trap, my shock trap during the um, expedition. Like after I pick it up, I need to, I need to craft it then. I keep forgetting to, like, craft it then, so I need to make sure I craft it then, so I don't have to, like, reroute anything. Man, I'm upset I messed that up. It's okay though. I don't. I didn't lose too much time off of that. We'll still end with like a pretty decent history books time, but like I haven't gotten like a low, like, like a mid uh, 54 in a while, just because like all this other stuff has been like really sloppy. It feels like. I'm not like getting the time saves that I need to actually get it. part of the run, yeah. Relaxing until you mess it up, and it's stressful.
I just hate making like routing decisions that I could have avoided. Yeah, no, I just grabbed an extra one. We're, we're okay. It's like, how do I have this right now? <laughs> I was just grabbed an extra fire herb somewhere, which doesn't mess up my routing, which is nice. I wish I could stream more to get more attempts in, because then I would feel like a lot better about like my skill level and stuff like that, but Hollow Knight's a fun speedrun. I tried to learn it at one point. I just couldn't do the bomb skip um, in, in one portion. It was very, very difficult. Hollow Knight is a very hard speedrun. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I tried for a while, too. I got good at Watcher Knights, and then after that, I was just like, I can't do this bomb skip. I'm good. It seems easier than 3D. I, mean, I, I think it's just like, yeah, entirely up to preference. Go! Watch the GQ run of uh, Mario 64. I did not. The the. The drums run. No, it was like on like drums. Uh, I only caught a part of it. Yeah, so the only thing I don't have is that Thunderbug again. And then I need to sell some materials. It's not new bugs, Blue. It's like I have to grab all the bugs now because I didn't get good RNG on um, Baroth and, and Jurakotis. Don't worry, I, I I got it. I just have to gather everything now.
All right, now what do we do for the next six minutes? Man, all right, so I gotta think about this. I have my two trap tools. Yeah, so the problem, like normally I would have two trap tools, the shock and the pitfall already. So then after I use the first shock, I can craft the next one and I have a shock, a pitfall, and one, uh, and then one trap tool. My dog, good luck with the runs. Thank you, monster. Sleep well. Have good eat. Ooh, good cat cam. Look at that. Cake. Um. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Use a pitfall on 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 Paolumu. Yeah, yeah. So I would have I would have two. I'd have one. That gets used to craft into okay, and then before Legiana, I would restock for two. I would craft one, and then craft the, uh, and then I would craft one, and then craft the um, the shock trap, and then before I go on Rathlos, I have to go into my room and to grab the two there. Green, do you think that would be faster, or just like before Legiana? restock the two trap tools exit out craft the the one uh shock trap and then go back in and restock the trap tool really quick and then go that'd probably be faster than going into the room so i'd have to do this this and then r1 and it would be right here Yo, Brian. I always craft a shock on the expedition and restock before Lumu in this situation. Oh, I guess I could do that. Yeah, yeah, because I have to route that way anyways. You're right. I could do that. No, no, no. That's that's much better. Yeah, yeah, because that, that fixes the short one trap tool, but it doesn't fix the short one thunderbug. Yeah, no, that, that works. I like that. And then I can take Diablos... Um, on the chance that I get extra Thunderbugs there, and then that fixes my short one Thunderbug going into high rank. Because then that way um, I can restock the Thunderbug. I don't have to think about it anymore. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, that, 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 that seems better anyways. Because, like, you're running right past it anyways, and you don't have to do any extra movement. I will lurk and listen uh, from now on. I appreciate it, Illuminous. Thank you for, for hanging out. Yeah, go get some sleep. To the left when you hop off of the Wedge be Beetle on Rathalos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Only this is like three or four seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually a good idea. I, I really only want the backup for Pinkia. That's that's really what I'm trying to fix is I, I don't like not having two traps for Pinkia. No, I could probably just like get away with doing it. I'm usually like, okay. I'm just trying to like I'm trying to like fit these things in so I can think about like on the fly routing. Cause yeah, like after I do the expedition, after I do the Coral Highlands expedition, I'm short one trap tool. So that if you just restock it right before Lumu, you fix your trap tools, and then now you're just short one Thunderbug. Which you can get on the Rathalos expedition and then that's fixed. Okay. I'll just do that. I like that. Yeah, because you just, you just go left and then go back towards the other one and then like a big loop. Yep, all right, I got it. Thank you for the good luck, Illuminist. Have good sleep. Thanks. I know it's late. Yeah, I like that. All right, cool. Because I'm trying to like make sure I understand that for like marathon stuff too, right? Because like the biggest, the big reason why I'm still like pushing for this PB is I want to stay fresh for SGDQ submissions, which are going to be in March. Also, an extra of the Coral Expedition if you want, uh, since we grabbed two, I think. True. Also true. That one always feels really slow. It's going to go, like, backwards. Unless you get it first and then unlock ZZ and then jump off. 
just don't know what's what's faster in that situation. Because you could go grab it, wrap back around and climb up, get it, and then jump back off and go, or you can just go up and then back and around. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I'll do it today, but I'll keep that in mind for like future. Yeah, that we have that that one on that quest. I think the Rathalos backup is better. Like, Rathalos backup option number two. <laughs> backup, backup, yeah. Backup to the backup to the backup. <laughs> I think I think that'll work. Yeah, I mean, Nergi should have just brought some for me, actually. What a true homie would do. Dude, you get like one gold Zora one once, and then the rest of your Zora ones are 55s. Good guy Nurki has stock if you have coin. <laughs> uh, still really a really solid Zora one. Only down eight seconds feels good. I don't really know what we can be up at this point. Probably like 20 reasonably. Um, but down 8 still feels fine. That's like with like really clean gameplay. Our biggest time loss there was like the 10 seconds to Toby because it was like entirely avoidable for me. I just made a mistake. Um, there's like no really like good time save on anything else. Uh, just like a little bit of a time loss on Baroth because both my ZSD finishers went into the head. And then... Um, on Puki because of like a single piece of AI. Like I got I got a clagger a little too early, so that means I was doing um wild uh wild swings a little bit longer. Um and then yeah cast it on or cast it on. We were up seven last time, we we're down six this time. Happens. Yeah, so like our biggest time loss was like Toby Gadaji. And we don't really have like any huge time saves uh left in Zora One. Like, we got the, the 10 seconds on Jiro, which felt good. Yeah, like, everything else was really clean. Good, we didn't forget that. Then now we can restock. <clears throat> yeah, I should get in the habit of like checking everything here because I check it all in Zora 1 because that's when it makes sense. But if I'm short something, I need to check it again here uh, in case I need to like get a backup or something.
And then when I restock here, I'm gonna lose a little bit of time because uh, uh, in this one because of the restock. I remember that. Good. Right, now we just need to remember the Thunderbug on Rathalos and we'll be good. Um, I don't need the extra spider web because I got both during Anjanath. Uh, we are short one flash, so if we can get extra flashes in Lumor or Legiana, we fix that. was a little scary because uh, I miss input there. <laughs> I rushed a PR uh, and I had to do that all like a little bit slowly. Um, but we're good. Well, that was a little scuffed. Also, uh, not knowing where the uh, shock trap was was kind of unfortunate because I didn't like fix my menu. I couldn't. All right, no flashes. We are not getting quest RNG at all this time. All right, 10 second time save on Bon. Let's uh, get this, hopefully. Yeah, Lumu was uh, Lumu's a rough one, and that script is not easy. It's all very, very precise. That's probably like one of our most practiced uh, splits, if I if I had to guess. Like between Green and I, we spent a lot of time uh, on that one.
That's the one that made me want to script CT with SNS, yeah. I had four sleep herbs there. I have eight, twelve. Uh, am I short of sleep herbs? I don't even know. Yeah, doing doing that with SNS the first time was was honestly wild. And then figuring out we actually could get a wall bang there was a revelation. Oh yeah, yeah, the restock of the sleep herbs. Yep, we're good, we're good. Oh, and CT was the worst segment. It still is. I still think CT is like one of the harder to execute really well. CT stands for Colossal Task. It's another name for the Zora 2 segment. Oh my gosh, two time losses, re. This is super RNG heavy anymore, true. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, none of this run really is. Other than, like, Odegaren, Diablos, and Valhazak, this, this run's, like, super consistent. And even those fights are, like, really consistent. Like, I'd say Diablos is the only one that's, like, super variable. You can do Diablos really well and still lose 30 seconds. No. I wonder if that's same. <laughs> Dude, if I could only remember what buttons to press. Flashes, flashes, let's go. Yo, Threech! Everyone come to the Three Trade. My name is Jao Bagel. I swear a monster game. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. 
Let's next go to Garen. Uh, we're doing a zero percent speed run. Welcome on in, everybody. Yo, and you. Uh, K Sarv, thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. Three, what were you up to today? What were you doing? Tell me about your stream. Hope you had a great one. Um, if you guys don't know what this is, this is a full game speed run from the beginning of a new file all the way to Xenojiva. Uh, I've been going for PB attempts. I got about like two and a half minutes of really like big time save. Uh, so we're we're pushing for that for that PB. Um, nice, you resting uh, Iceborne Endgame. I hope that's been going well. Are you returning to Rise or uh, World because Capcom also told you to? Getting destroyed by Zenogre, I feel that. Yeah, Zenogre is not an easy fight. I actually got that. Let's go. Uh, Petting a pseudo speedrun uh, for the uh, Frame Fatales event. Oh, nice! That's super cool. I would love to know more about that. If you are, if you are happy to share, is it is it world stuff? Uh, well, uh, Threech, if you ever uh, want help with, like, uh, a submission, commentary, or anything like that, feel free to reach out. I would love to to assist um, in any way that I can. I would love to see Monster Hunter at a, at a Fatales event, or just, like, at a GDQ event, you know, in general, right? Um, after we ran uh, Rise at SGDQ, like, we need more Monster Hunter at, a, at, at GDQ events. Yo, Lintello. Miga, Marse. Erimo. I really do appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to showcase this at SGDQ this year. Uh, Green, do you remember them? I don't. I don't really remember the the uh, HP numbers off the top of my head. It's like 36 and 30, but I don't remember exactly. Stop flying up and down! First drop drops at 35 for most monsters unless it decides not to, yeah. Some monsters it drops at 30 and some it's at 25, gotcha. Uh, and then uh, th those, those pod drop rates are different for Master Rank, by the way. And Master Rank first uh, first pod drops at like 48 or something. Oh uh, yeah, we didn't need that this time. Oh wait, no, yes we did. Well, I've already foregone it. Ew. 
It'll be fine. <laughs> she made it there before you, true. Rathalos! Shit! <laughs> we can recover, we can recover, we can recover! <laughs> I forgot how to count. I counted to four and then I just stopped counting. Alright, well that's a big time loss. We could have we could have saved 40 there, oh well. That's one of my big time uh time saves. I wasn't paying attention. Dude, counting is so hard, oh my gosh. I have two flashes. I have four. Okay. What comes after four? I forgot. PR. <laughs> Dude, we were doing so well there too. As long, if I just got that finisher in, like, and didn't dodge like an idiot, oh well. <laughs> I clipped the funny rat the moment. Thank you. <laughs> I literally even counted to four in my head, and I was like, white noise after that. The fact that I also dodged both of those roars was really impressive to me.
stuff is gonna move in like hit them your way. Like that. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, the uh, the the bear off having a hitbox is knowledge that I've had since like the beginning of my speedrunning career because I remember once getting the Diabolos over here and then just like getting stuck on that. Cause like I kept bouncing off of it and like losing sharpness and stuff. So, like. I had to really think about my PRs there because I had to do PR, like timed PRs. So I had Mind's Eye and I didn't bounce off of it. I thought I was going to be far enough away from it the first time that it happened, uh, and I wasn't. Because I had to rush that PR too to make sure I kept the timing. I probably could have gotten away with it, but. No, it, it despawns after a while. Like, it was gone by the end of our fight there. But it does eventually, like, despawn. Uh, still a really good run. Like, we can keep this going. Could be messed up. Uh, P PR2 can't... No, uh, what? Hold on, I'm sorry. I should be paying attention to this. I mean, I, I, just, I just rushed it and it bounced off the Barot's head, so, like, I don't... You tell me. I mean, you you observed it. Alright, so we're going to lose a couple of seconds because I accidentally talked there. So, uh, at most, this will be like a 10 second time loss. I mean, like, I don't know, you tell me. Like, I rushed the PR2 and it's still balanced, so. Whose fault was it? Can I now brown rice with dinner, but forgot to start the rice cooker? Oh, no! <laughs> well, tragic. Uh, I switch around. Um, so, like, we started the run with um, Switch Axe. Uh, we'll use SNS. Uh, after this hunt, we're going to switch back to Switch Axe for three hunts, and then we're going to go back to SNS. Press the super slow, uh, super low stream latency, holy. <laughs> I pride myself on the quality. I'm actually really hoping I get into the um, NVIDIA and Twitch collaboration because I want to do the local encoding so I can actually stream it more guy. Oh, it was the last hit that bounced. Yeah, okay, okay. I think I just like this saw it or like misread it or misread it. But yeah, yeah, no, I, I had to rush the PR1 if I wanted to fit in that clagger. I think, uh, I think I just recognized it as a PR2 only because I had already input from the PR2.
Nuggetmeister, thank you for that follow up. It's really weird position to let the first two connect. Yeah, because I mean, like, I saw the gray numbers, but I heard, I thought I heard the dings. And so I thought they were, like, already going to connect. I don't know, it was weird. Uh, but it's okay regardless. I mean, like, it. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can break the magma cores too, but we're trying to avoid that. You can break those like little bits on the side, but the, the magma cores we want to keep intact because if we break those, he stops moving. You can shoot the still Hagmites to damage Zora, yup. And it is not a small amount of damage. didn't almost part, you did. <laughs> Everything's fine. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was really just the, uh, Zora explosion that, like, really threw me off. I just wanted to make sure I got a finisher in, too, to make sure that I got enough damage to transition them, and it worked. Um, so, Dio, the way that you get, uh, Nergi to leave, it's a health gate. Um, so as long as you meet the health gate, he will try to, like, get off. Eventually, um, he will just leave because the quest makes him.
Good, it didn't break. Let's go. I also love the part where I PR the rock 110, or 80,000 80, times even. Fast thinks that follow with one in. Oh, value's high. I didn't think I said high earlier, but high. Yeah. Express away for finishing ice board. Let's go! So high Jones. I will hit that walk. Wow. Walk rock. No! We're losing time! No! Favorite weapons to main? Uh, I really like Switch Axe. Single calm. Switch Axe has always been my main. Switch axe, I switch axe. So when I go to do a restock for Anjanath, I'm going to um, restock all so I get the extra Thunderbugs from uh, Diablos. So I have extra Thunderbugs for the uh, Finkian. I did take on that one just to make up for my little mistake there. Um, so that should be good. <laughs>
ZSD really do go burr. Sack? Sack. All right, let's see a let's see a forty second time save on Pinky and Track Smile. That'd be great. Oh gosh, that'd be amazing. I believe. Oh, I didn't roll. All right, one or two. Hog. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Yeah, you can roll just before um, the tutorial pops up. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Just another pattern too, and we're good. No, the other one. Eighteen, nineteen. Uh, not the pinky and tracks, but the rest of them you can. Yo, the other one. How you doing? I never thought of going to the same location a second time. Yup. <laughs> Yo, Epic, how are you? All right. Uh, so that's that's pretty good. We should actually save some time here. Because that's comparing against Devil Pattern 1, which is the slowest. Remember to um, restock and then restock traps. <laughs> nice, 14 seconds, let's go. And then now I have the extra 
um, Thunderbug that I needed for the backup trap on Pinkian. The only thing I don't have is backup Tranks, so it should be all right. Very good. And then I have plenty of flashes for Pinky in case I lose that. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And then we're going to restock traps. Yep, perfect. Perfect. Looks great. Slowly bringing it back. Uh, Smalls MK, probably. Thank you for that follow. Come on in. Bene. More. <laughs> Alright, now we have a minute and 17 second time saves on Pinkian, so let's just get that, shall we? We missed our first big time save, which was Rathalos, because I forgot how to count to five. So let's just get this one, Smile. Blue, thank you for that bless.
We did it. We got the time save. Now we just need to hold this all the way through the... Actually, no. Uh, we, we're we probably going to lose all of this to Elder Tracks. If I had to guess, since we're a minute up going into tracks, we're actually going to get the worst possible track patterns. But that's okay, because we have a minute time save on Teostra, and then we just have to do, like, okay on everything else, and then we get a 26. And that's all that we're trying to do. Uh, it went a little awry towards the end there because I didn't get that clagger when I wanted it. And then um, I didn't get the uh, finisher when I needed it because I, I got the clagger and it overwrote. It, it, it happened when the flash flail happened, so I missed it. Uh, I silent seven. Thank you for that follow. Come on in. Before we get a 24 5x, probably not. Uh, okay, oh, yeah, it's 15 in the tree. All right, we're good. Hmm. I mean, like, this isn't a fast track pattern either, but, like, we're already losing time because <laughs> we didn't get the best possible track pattern. Uh, yeah, my my uh, PB has perfect tracks, <laughs> so I can't really save much time here, unfortunately. Cat scam! Yeah, he left. So seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Eleven. Well, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. If we can just get good Teo and good um, Val, like, we'll only lose like, 30 seconds here, which will be nice. You bad. All right, we're already losing time. We're losing a bunch of time. This is pattern three Teostra, which is slow. Seven, eight, nine, <clears throat> ten, eleven, nine, 
I'm saying the minus 114 manifested this, not me. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. We didn't have to balance out with good pinky and tracks. And those weren't even like the best pinky and tracks. Those were like middle of the road pinky and tracks. Uh, one or three. Yeah, it's got a lot of time in it, Alum. One, two, three, tragic, four, five, this is pattern three. So almost the worst uh, tracks, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Twelve. How many hours? Uh, probably close to like 5,000 the last time I tried to map it out. Unfortunately, Steam doesn't track our speedrun times, uh, like our speedrun hours, because we play in offline mode, and while in offline mode, it just doesn't track. Uh, 13, 14... 15, 16. Seventeen. Eighteen. Um, so offline mode starts us in a private session instead of putting us into a public lobby at the very beginning of the game. Um, and then on top of that, uh, you, um, you get, uh, one less menu per quest that you launch. Uh, also DC errors don't really kill runs. Like that wouldn't kill a run. You can, you can run it in online mode. You just can't play with other people if you're doing single player um and you can't play with other people that are not starting a new file right but we, we play in offline mode because like <clears throat> yeah rules require a private private session yep yeah you would lose 30 seconds just from starting a private session yeah and the player number select that just like doesn't appear I think it's like one or two uh, extra inputs, actually, like per quest that we launch. Uh, and since we like don't do any event quests, you know, we just unga bunga through the game. We don't really need to be online. There was a theory, though, to do the Monster Hunter movie mission to unlock the Artemis gear. Uh, since that, like, sets your gear for you, and then you just, like, go in and do it. And unlocking Artemis gear is actually not terribly hard to do, and it's pretty decent. But then you still have to deal with all the other, like, time losses that you have in the game, and you can't do that until you get, like, halfway through Master Rank. So, like, when is it really even worth it? Uh, yeah, the, the quest is no longer available, yeah. 
We don't, I don't think we've ever, like, made a rule explicitly against it because it just, like, hasn't been viable and, like, people just aren't running it. But if somebody does it, then we can, like, look at it. I'm sorry I had to remind you this way, Emily. I apologize. Uh, yeah, I do plan on doing other Fatalis percent towards the end of uh, February. I'm probably going to start um, advertising it like next month, which is this week. Uh, event quests aren't time limited. That one specifically was uh, because it was a limited collaboration with the with the movie. Yeah, like all the other all the other event quests are available. It's only that one that went away for whatever reason. Oh, is that screw went away? No, there goes our time save. Thanks, Trax. Yeah, we actually lost all of that. It's about a minute from here, maybe a little bit more. So we, we literally lose our entire time save because we got almost the worst possible track pattern. Big unfortunate. There goes our entire time save. Oh, wait, where am I going? Throwing. I was doing, uh, post nerdy movement. Whoops. Yeah, kind of unfortunate to lose our entire time save to Elder Tracks, but, like, it's what I expect at this point.
I shouldn't have clutch clawed that. I don't know why I did. So I really love the fact that I'm like a single damage off from it, uh, it unenraging, and then that's why the uh, claw attack doesn't work. I really, really like that fact. That makes me like super, super happy, and I, I just like, I, you can't predict that. And then also we already have uh, black spikes and. Like, it doesn't matter, this one's gonna hurt. Like, that's just aggravating, man. Okay, it was a good run while it lasted. I just don't, I don't get that, man. Like, it de-aggros, so it shows yellow icon. It should have been yellow icon then, and it wasn't. It was still in rage, so I had to drop it. I had to hit it with a, uh, uh, a slinger burst to stop it from transitioning, uh, the crystal burst, and then black spikes instantaneously. It's like, I was just this freaking close, like in the blast proc to break the leg, like that was just the perfect storm of nonsense to happen on that there, there there was like so many points that i tried to like recover from it and the game just did not want me to so uh on the first crystal drop two he jumped he jumped the second i shot it which i didn't think i was far enough away to bait that ai apparently i was but he jumped and so he got a um aerial knockdown which is only three claw swi uh, swipes so I was surprised that I actually still got the PR in and like was able to hold the lock, but um, it just meant that the leg spike grew back way too quick. Like every all the spikes just grew way too fast because of that. And then of course I clutch clawed at the worst possible time because I it did I was impatient and carded. And a cart there always loses a minute. Like it doesn't it doesn't matter where. Um, like that that cart just loses one minute. <clears throat> uh, we can get back on pace with Teo, but like at this point, I mean this is like a dead run. We're just gonna finish it out just to see like where we finished. Um, but unfortunate. We did I mean we did really good holding it here and like I got the PB the time saves that I needed to get. Um, it's at least fortunate that we lost all of the time saves to tracks. So then, like, this really, I mean, it really doesn't matter at this point. Like, I, I can still PV. It'll just be poverty as all get out. Uh, and I really don't want it. <laughs> I would, I would much rather not PV this. Because then that means I just have another minute time save to save somewhere else. Um, like, part of me just wants to, like not do this run but i need to just be finishing runs like at this point too like it just finishing runs is like super important um but like that was like really just like a perfect storm of nonsense to happen because like he even like did the move forward and stopped and so i was like okay cool i have the opening to drop the rock and he instantly jumped <laughs> and like it's just so unfortunate. Like, that's recoverable, though. Um, the thing that wasn't recoverable was... I mean, I don't know. Like, it was all recoverable. Just, like, the one thing that really threw me off was going for the wall bang and it not being wall bangable. Because then that means I also missed the timing on breaking the leg, so he didn't um, get all black spikes. Like, it was just it was just a really just, like, a perfect storm. <laughs> I probably should have uh, ignored the wall bang and just gone for the spike break because it was just one hit away. And just broken the, the, the spikes on the leg instead. And then just gotten that knockdown and continued it. Because then it would have been two PRs from there um, instead of getting the wall bang and doing uh, one PR. 
but it's okay. I mean, like hindsight's twenty twenty, and like I've never I've never had that moment before. Um, so I mean, like it's at least a good learning point. And the fact that I keep getting runs like two elders and just like losing a minute on one of the elder dragons still makes me feel really good about this run. I'm just like inconsistent with elders because every time in a run I get introduced to like that situation, right? A, a entirely novel situation that I have never seen before in my entire life, and I have to like try to figure out how to deal with it and then lose a minute. <laughs> you know, like I don't I don't know what else to do. It is what it is though. <laughs> this is why I wish I could like stream more and like do more attempts, but like working full time and then trying to stream every single day is tiring. And I already did that for like two years. I'm not doing it again. Of course, I bowled after that nerdy man. Literally, just got a perfect KO strap. Don't mind me. All right, so no time save on Valhazak, but I have like a minute on Zeno, but that minute is like not reasonable to expect. It's still possible to, to 226 here, but I do not in, uh, expect it. Yeah, it felt really good. I mean, I just had, like, full control over that uh, the entire time, which is good. It's easy to lose uh, Teo if you, like, you lose your timing and your pacing. So I'm, I'm actually really happy that I got that. I really don't want to PV here. Like, I lost a minute, over a minute to Nergigante. I do not want to PV here. <laughs> like, I'd be fine not PVing. A 255 Teo in a run is so good. I mean, I, I struggle with all of them, uh, honestly, Dio. Uh, I'm not really consistent with Elders. I can do them quickly. I just can't do them quickly consistently. Um, but to be fair, they are, like, the hardest spot of the entire run. Like, these are all really difficult things to do. Um, and so, like, a single misinput can result in, like, really bad things. And, um, like, as you saw, like, with Nergi, like, I, I literally just get a single misinput and 
everything has to like i have to like really adjust this is what like green was talking about earlier like you you accidentally rush a pr finisher and then you like lose a minute to an elder dragon because like you lose the lock like it's it's really hard to recover elder dragons sick jump see that trick i just did just jumped on flat ground um <clears throat> Like, it, it's, like, it's really easy to, like, lose scripts on Elder Dragons. It's really hard to just do them cleanly. So, like, they're all, like, really difficult. I'd probably say I struggle with Teo the most. Um, but, like, Nergi is, is probably, like, one of the harder ones to do because of how variable it can be. This one's also really hard to do, like, consistently. Just because of the nature of the pseudo lock. Um, but so far, so good. We got, like, a good opening. And then now I just need to um, pay attention to uh, damage here. Gold that again, dude. I'm mad. I'm angry. I'm angry and I'm mad. How do I gold Val Hazak again? I just saved 24 seconds on an already golded Val Hazak. What is happening? I'm so mad. I'm so mad, dude. Green! Dude, I'm pissed. I'm so mad. How does that happen? A oh, world record uh, is 224, and I could get it, but the goal right now is a 226. I'm not consistent enough. Possible time save, 16 seconds on Kushala. Oh, no, this one, Kushala. Okay, we don't have, we haven't done seen it yet. Oh, cool. Sub four, whatever. 
I'll never do that again. I don't want to PV. Johnny! Everyone come with the DJ Johnny Raid. My name is Jao Bagel. I'm Speedrun Monster to Game. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. I threw to Nergigante and still am back on PB pace. This is very strange. Welcome on in, everybody. <laughs> Golden Teo and Val. I got a sub for Val. I hate it here. It's never gonna happen again. Welcome on everybody, guys. If you don't know DJ Johnny, he's one of my favorite human beings in the entire world. One of my best friends. Um, the, he is a a Fortniteer, a monster hunter, all around video gamer. Definitely go and check him out. Grim, thank you for that posture check. Ugh. Hi, Ellie. Oh yeah, please go. Please join me in following my friend DJ Johnny. He is he is a cool dude, and likes to play video games. And I will get him to speedrun this game again eventually. Mr. New Stomper, thank you for that follow up. Man. No, that one would be really hard to gold. My gold Kushala was like literally perfect. My opener I already lost like four seconds on and then like that at the very end overriding the head threshold. I just got really lucky that I was like in a really good position to back hop that, uh, to dodge that roar. And then I was only like two hits away from the head break. Uh, but yeah, welcome on everybody from that from that raid. Johnny's a great person, go follow him please. Um, yeah, Noob Stumper, thank you for that follow, too. Why does it have wings when it only lays on the ground? Dude, I don't know. All the Elder Dragons are like that. Why do they have wings when we just lock them in place? <laughs> All right, just save a minute here, and we pee the cart. What are you going to 226? If I get a 226 with a cart on Nergi, I'm going to lose my shit. Green, I carted to Nergi! <laughs> What's the average time for Xeno? Pretty much the time that I got.
It's 2021, baby! We can PB with carts! Let's go! There's so much time saved! <laughs> PBs with carts! Let's go! <laughs> oh. Remember that world record that had two carts in it? Swan? It's this the land of convergence. Dude, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Okay. I hate this positioning, dude. I keep missing PR finishers. I hate what it's doing right now. Getting stuck to the hand, dude! I keep going right through it! Alright, this time he's hand over here. He actually can like have a good position. I messed up my position with all of that. That is such a slow phase one. It's like 20 seconds slow.
scuffed run. What an entirely scuffed PB. Yeah, and Green's right. This is technically second place. Ah! <laughs> there was a cart! Dude, we're so close to that 226. Just don't cart on Nergi. Oh my gosh. Forty seconds on. I still have forty seconds on Rathalos. Uh, actually, I don't even think I have forty seconds. Oh no, no yeah, I, I do have forty seconds on Rathalos, and I have a minute and ten seconds on Nergi. So it's a minute fifty that we still have to save. So a minute thirty-seven uh, to put it to a one twenty-seven, one twenty-six, one twenty-five is like super doable, and then. We have to get a fast Xeno you know, to get that. Uh, excuse me, that 225 is super doable. And then we have to get a fast Xeno you know, to get a 224. Oh my gosh. I did also see Crakes this run. <laughs> fast Xeno you know, or fast tracks, yeah. I, I can't bank on fast tracks. Like, every time I get. Like, every time I'm a, I'm a minute up, I get to tracks, I lose a minute. So I can't even, like, bank on that. I really just need to bank on, like, a good Xeno. You know? Oh my gosh. Dude, we are so close to that 226. It's like, don't make a dumb mistake, and then 226 is free. Oh, I can't stop throwing. <laughs> All right, well, PB and second place now. Officially second place. <laughs> oh.